Congratulations, Congratulations on all your success. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We are in uh, playing the Pac-Man downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I'd get him up here for the interview. I thought we're going to be late. Mike's going to be mad at me because he was playing the Pac-Man machine. I hate we do these we, we're syndicated now, so we have to stay on our clock before I could let it slide. Yeah. And so folks get here, you know, let's say the first segment will be eleven minutes. And they'll get here eight minutes into it. We go three minutes, we go to break, and they're sitting here going, Well, I'm really important and you've gone to break. I, sorry, I can't change that, you know. So I've gotten to where now I warn them. Yeah. Well that's good. I used to do what he said when I was governor, I had a weekly radio show live one hour a week on Friday mornings. Oh wow. So get the same get hard breaks. So you're in uh, St. Paul? I live in a suburb of Twin Cities. Okay. Between St. Paul and East Missouri. You from Minnesota? I am. Now, where are you from? I'm from Southeast Texas. Orange, a little town. So we picked up a station in Baton Rouge, which was kind of fun for me because Orange, where I'm from, is halfway between Houston and Baton Rouge. And yeah, so stop. Well, yeah, and, and a lot of folks, Southeast Texas is really more Southwest Louisiana. Um, so there are a lot of Thibodeaux and A Bears. So, you know, it's kind of one of those passions. There's a lot of Louisiana culture. Even in Houston. Yes, yes. Even in Houston, there's a lot of Louisiana culture that, that comes in here. So it's one of my passions. We're on in Portland, which is very interesting because it's quite different politics. Do they call in from Portland? I mean, they you do. take them from all over. That's really interesting. And they, uh, they don't know what to do with this redneck gig from, from Houston <laughs> talking conservative politics. But interestingly, you probably already know this when you look at the maps. You have Portland, which is rather liberal, but you get outside of Portland and the rest of the state of Oregon. These are lumberjacks, hunters, and fishermen, and then we go into Vancouver, Washington. So you get a lot of conservative listeners out there. We almost got the governorship back in Oregon, which would have been a big gift. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. 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 I was the vice chair of the RGA, so Haley was the chair and I was the vice chair. We thought he was going to win. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting. We talked a lot about that on. on the race. I didn't have uh, Chris Dudley on, but the Mark and Dave show that comes on after yeah. the really good guy. He's like best friends with them. He was on. Yeah. His wife Chris is one of the It's Chris and Chris. Yeah, and I, I felt like if if a Republican was going to win, it was going to have to be him. Yeah. Yeah. Best year. It's free. All right, I'm going to keep you short clip so I get a lot on. I'm going to filibuster you so you don't have any questions. They warned you. I read them the right act on the way over. And another thing. Yeah. Well, my theory, <laughs> Sue will tell you, I, I'm a big believer in confronting, you know, if somebody has a question, confront those and it, it makes you look a stronger candidate. Here we go. He's got the Elvis. I Our guest in the studio is former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. Most folks feel like he won the, uh, the debate the other night. He was probably the best known of the candidates who showed up there today. Uh, Newt Gingrich announcing he's running for president. Governor Tim Pawlenty, tell me in a minute or less who you are and why don't we know who you are? <laughs> well, who I am in this, I, I, I'm running for president, considering running for this reason. If the country's in trouble, I think I can fix it. If you're running for president, people want to know who are you, what do you, you know, have as a vision for the country, why do you believe what you say you're, you're going to do? I grew up in a meatpacking town. Uh, first one in my family to go to college. Dad, for a chunk of his life, was a truck driver. My mom was a homemaker. She died when I was young. My dad lost his job for a while, not long after that. I was a criminal prosecutor for a while. I was a governor of the state of Minnesota for eight years, and we took a liberal state and turned it in a conservative direction big time. And just to close, there were four uh, governors in the country that got an A grade from the Cato Institute. I was uh, one of the four, and the other three aren't running for president. 